Hey everyone, welcome back to another Backrooms level explanation here on the channel. I'm Brugly, and in this video I'm going to be talking about level 369, or Cumley, as it's been nicknamed. This level is seemingly very unknown, and I think it has the potential of being the best Backrooms level of all time. I know that's crazy, but I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Anywho, let's get into the explanation, shall we? Also, go sub to my third channel, Spoogly, if you want some horror stuff, or not, it doesn't really matter. Just thought I'd tell you. Backrooms level 369 is classified as a class habitable difficulty and is very safe, habitable, and devoid of any harm. Off to a good start. The level itself is a sort of sanctuary that's tucked deep away into the far reaches of the backrooms. It's very gorgeous, I can't lie. It takes the appearance of a series of bright hallways surrounding floors that are made out of grass and flowers and all sorts of floral things. The ceiling of the level is a very bright light in most spots, so parts is dark, and it seems to just emit a perfect sun type of light. Even though the level has halls and walls and ceilings and you're technically surrounded by them and in this tight area, it doesn't feel claustrophobic at all. It feels open and expansive and free. The rooms and the corridors here can generate in different sizes too and they can make themselves known in different ways. And most of them revolve around the types of plants that are growing in them. For example, rooms with grass will be smaller and rooms with trees will be bigger. It's all connected. Each of the hallways just leads to more hallways and each room can lead to other rooms. It's very interconnected and winding and it seems to never ever end. All of this creates a massive network of these rooms for people like us to explore. There's no doors that connect them, the hallways just flow together seamlessly, so it gives the illusion of being infinite. Even though it might be infinite, we don't know. The entire level is a sort of liminal heaven. It feels like a place that you've explored in your dreams. A place that never ends or begins, if you will. It's very beautiful and dreamscape-like. Can you tell that I like the level? The plants on the floors of the level can be different depending on where you're at. Some of the rooms have small, short grass. Some of them have flowers that grow. Some of them have huge mounds of dirt. Others have trees and vegetable plants. It just changes depending on how far you walk through the level. The entire place is very warm and breezy and has the ambience of a calm summer day. And this ambience can make people not want to leave the level. They feel so safe and secure here and it's obviously just beautiful and relaxing and I can see why you won't want to leave. The light that comes from the roof above you almost seems to be alive in a way because it spreads itself out from room to room and it seems to pick and choose which corridors that it lights up and which ones it doesn't. This can lead to very weird sections that are dark and very weird sections that are very bright, but it's very strange nonetheless. Plants on this level that usually have defense mechanisms in real life, like thorns on roses or bristles on grass, don't have them on this level. Just like the classification said, there's no dangers at all, so anything that could hurt you is just not here. You could theoretically walk through a hallway of roses and not get cut by thorns because they're not there. There's a light breeze that flows through the level constantly as well, and we have no idea where it comes from, considering the level takes place indoors. But like I said earlier, the level never ends or begins. It just is. There's also some kind of sprinkler system that's been set up inside the walls and the roof of the level, and they water the plants that are growing here. But it's not really water that comes out of them, it's kind of like this weird, sweet, nutrient-rich liquid that grows plants very quickly. The liquid is safe to drink for humans, and as of making this video, there's been no negative effects yet, although there hasn't been many people that have been here, so that could change. The level is absolutely massive, and it's expanding forever and ever, and each hallway of grass that you walk on will eventually just open up into a bigger corridor right when you think it's going to end. It's like an infinite heavenscape to explore. Now, interestingly enough, level 369 resembles a sub-level of level 1, which is level 1.1. That sub-level has a very small section of grassy hallways that resemble this entire level. I wonder if they're connected somehow. Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, as I said at the beginning of the video, this level is very unknown. Not many people know about it, and much less than that have actually explored it. And that's because we really don't know where it's at. 
It's said to be just tucked away somewhere deep in the back rooms, but obviously that's not specific. And it seems that the actual level number that has been given is random. But if I found this level with these perfectly relaxing, amazing liminal hallways, I don't think I'd ever leave. There are no entities here unless you count the flora and the plants as entities. Since the level is so big, wanderers have nothing else to interact with except these plants. In fact, some people have claimed that the plants sing with the breeze. Whoever said that might be crazy, we don't know. But what is known is that the fruits and the vegetables that are produced by the plants here can be eaten safely. They're ones from real life, like tomatoes and cucumbers and squash and that kind of thing. So if you put together that food with the weird liquid that comes down from the sprinklers that you could drink, you could theoretically stay here forever and never stop exploring the deep grassy heaven. To enter this awesome level, there are a few theorized ones, since we really don't know where it's at. One is that you can interact with the Skeleton Queen on level 32, and then she can send you here. And another one is that you can climb up a tree in level 234 to be sent here as well. Like I said, we really don't know. I honestly feel like if we did know how to get here, the level would be too busy and crowded with people. So I kind of like that not many people know where it's at. To exit the level, you can walk around until you find a hallway that's made out of curtains. Open up the curtain and walk behind it and you'll be sent out. Or you just don't have to leave here. I mean, it's way safer than level Run For Your Life or any other level. But on that note, there are some stranger, deeper parts of the level that are these weird dark zones. And all the entry says about it is that the, quote, dark areas often lead elsewhere, end quote. So it can mean that's an exit, or it can mean it leads to a dangerous level, or something lives back there. I don't know. I'm just going to choose to stay in the safer part. This place is a good representation of the best parts about the back rooms put into one single level. You got the liminal, otherworldly aspect of being in a different reality, coupled with the strange layout and massive labyrinths, and just overall weird look. And on top of that, the strange properties of the plants and the light and stuff, it just makes the perfect level. It's like everything came together to make the best level possible. A level where you don't have to do anything except sit back and relax and explore this heavenly place. Anyways, that's enough blabbering on about how good this level is. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching to the end. If you are watching, comment Grassy Brugly, and I will heart all the comments that I see with that keyword. The channel is almost to 1 million subscribers, which means I'm about to go to the level 188 hotel location in real life. So if you want to see that faster, share the channel with friends, family, fish, dog, cats, anyone who likes exploring this weird world of liminal spaces that we know and love, they'll enjoy this channel, I think. And if you want more from me on different channels, check out Toogly and Spoogly. I upload on those channels often, and that's just where I'll I am. If you don't want that, stay here on Brugly. Wherever I see you next, I'll see you in the next video.